This memory trick makes it so easy to remember how to place a 5 lead ECG, so let's get right into it. Welcome to the channel where medical topics are made easy. This video will show you how to place a 5 lead ECG for cardiac monitoring and telemetry. And we're going to use a mnemonic and memory tricks to remember exactly where to place the electrodes and leads. You're going to remember the following phrases, white on the right, clouds over grass, smoke over fire, and I heart chocolate. These phrases will coordinate with the colors of the leads. So what does this mean? Well, let's quickly look at what these colors are referring to. In order to obtain a 5-lead ECG, electrodes are placed on the skin. Electrodes are sticky pads that are placed on the body in certain positions. The electrodes allow the electrical activity of the heart to be recorded. The lead wires are wires that are connected to the electrodes, and they transmit the heart's electrical activity to the ECG machine. Each of the lead wires are different colors and need to go in the correct position, and that's where the memory tricks come into play. So a 5-lead ECG uses 5 electrodes and 5 color-coded lead wires. The circles are the electrodes, and the colors are the color-coded lead wires that attach to it. First we have the white lead, which is the right arm lead. Then we have the green lead, which is the right leg. Next we have the black lead, which is the left arm. Then we have the red lead, which is the left leg. Finally, we have the brown lead, which is the chest or V1 lead. Now let's look at the memory tricks to remember where the colors go. The memory trick we're gonna walk through is white on the right, clouds over grass, smoke over fire, and I heart chocolate. Let's go through these step by step and talk about exactly where to place the electrodes and lead wires. Starting with white on the right, this will help you remember the white lead goes on the right side. The white lead is the right arm lead, and you will place the electrode below the right clavicle at about the second intercostal space midclavicular line. Next you'll remember clouds over grass. This will help you remember the white lead, which is clouds, goes over the green lead, which is grass. The green lead is the right leg lead, and you will place the electrode on the lower edge of the rib cage at about the seventh or eighth right intercostal space midclavicular line. Next, you'll remember smoke over fire. This will help you remember the black lead, which is smoke, goes over the red lead, which is fire. The position is the same as what we just did on the right, but now it's on the left. The black lead is the left arm lead, and you will place the electrode below the left clavicle at about the second intercostal space, midclavicular line. The red lead is the left leg lead, and you will place the electrode on the lower edge of the rib cage at about the seventh or eighth left intercostal space, midclavicular line. Finally, you'll remember I heart chocolate. This will help you remember the brown lead, which is chocolate, goes in the center of the chest by the heart. The brown lead is the V1 or chest lead, and you will place the electrode in the fourth intercostal space, just right of the sternum. A 5-lead ECG is typically used for cardiac monitoring or telemetry, as it provides a continuous live reading of the electrical activity of the heart. In other words, a 5-lead ECG is used when a patient's heart rate and rhythm must be continuously monitored, such as in the hospital or emergency room. A 5-lead ECG differs from a 12-lead ECG in that it provides continuous monitoring of the heart, whereas a 12-lead ECG provides a static, more comprehensive reading of the heart at that specific time. Hopefully this helped you understand how to place a 5-lead ECG. Please share this video with others and hit that like button and leave a comment. Subscribe to Save Time Studying and not miss out on future videos, notes, and study guides. You can find all the flashcard study guides and notes linked down below. Thanks for watching and hope you check out future videos.